Thank you very much for joining me today. It's really lovely to be able to talk to you about your work. Uh, we're here as part of the INWED 2021 celebrations. Uh, the theme this year is Engineering Heroes, and we've also decided to look at the link between the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Um, so perhaps we could start by you telling me a little bit about that, about your work and how it links in with the UN SDGs. Sure. Uh, so I'm trained as a biochemical engineer uh, and as biochemical engineers, we're the professionals charged with the task of taking advances in the life sciences and converting them into practical outcomes for health and well-being. Uh, and this has applications across a huge range of products, uh, and these align very well with the UN Sustainable Development Goals uh, from developing medicines for both communicable and non-communicable diseases uh, through to clean water, clean energy, uh, and finally through to sustainable uh, industrialization. So on the health and well-being front, uh, I can share a couple of examples from both our research and teaching activities. As uh, so on the research side, uh, I direct a couple of large centres where our research focuses on designing next generation manufacturing processes for new medicines. Uh, and these are medicines for life threatening diseases where there's an unmet need. And so the therapeutic modalities that we work on range from uh, magic bullets in the form of monoclonal antibodies through to novel patient specific cell and gene therapies. Uh, and when you look at developing these medicines, it's a very lengthy, costly and uh, risky endeavour. And our biochemical engineering research provides tools to accelerate the development of the manufacturing processes for these medicines and ensure that they're scalable, robust and cost effective. And this is really crucial to ensuring affordability and wider access to these innovative medicines. Um, another example from our teaching activities. So at UCL Biochemical Engineering, our teaching is research driven. And so our students work on uh, real world engineering scenarios. So for example, I take our students for their capstone design project. And this year I task them with working on the very topical challenge of mass production of COVID therapies for pandemic preparedness. Uh, and last year, they were tasked with coming up with solutions to enable low cost therapies for infectious diseases uh, in the developing world. So in all these scenarios, the role of biochemical engineers is uh, vital in ensuring that these goals are achieved. Wow, that all sounds amazing and very impressive. Thank you very much for sharing that and also quite relevant to COVID as well. Um, so it, it sounds quite varied, uh, your role. Do you, do you have a favourite part? Um, there are many aspects of my job that, that I enjoy. Uh, I think in, in academia, uh, you get to wear many hats in a day. So you're a researcher, an educator, personal tutor, leader, collaborator, uh, etc. So it keeps me very busy, but it does have um, its highlights. Uh, I think on the student front, uh, it, it's always exciting to meet and interact with new eager students each year contribute to equipping them with uh, skills to help them with their future careers. Um, it's great to see how far they come during their degrees um, and particularly gratifying when um, I witness students that get that aha moment uh, when different parts uh, of the degree uh, click for them uh, and you see their self-confidence uh, growing uh, and they, they recognize that they're really capable of uh, accomplishing uh, a lot. Uh, and then it's nice to, to witness their successes as they embark on their career journeys. Um, and especially when we end up collaborating with them uh, in their new roles. So it's a small world. <laughs> um, and on the research front, um, it's exciting to be working in a space where uh, advances in biological systems are taking place at breathtaking speed. And so we're always faced with new challenges that require research on innovative engineering ideas. Uh, and we need these ideas to ensure successful commercialization of these new products and therapies. And in UCL Biochemical Engineering, we're very lucky that we have unparalleled linked with industry and policy makers. And so it's exciting to see how we can also help our collaborators make uh, smart decisions when developing these uh, new therapies. Um, finally, uh, I think another great aspect um, are my colleagues. <laughs> 
Um, so I get to work with colleagues who have a shared passion for education, learning and innovation. Uh, we're all keen to ensure that we provide a fantastic experience for our students uh, and a positive research culture uh, as well. So that's really uh, gratifying too. Thank you. That does sound really, really interesting. Um, so the topic this year, the theme is engineering heroes. I wondered if you yourself had a, an engineering hero or heroine, if there was somebody or something that inspired you to want to become an engineer. Um, well, I grew up in a culture where, where two of the most highly regarded professions were medicine and engineering. So it actually felt quite natural to pursue engineering as I was very keen on mathematics at the time, but also enjoyed uh, chemistry and biology. Luckily, I came across UCL's degree in biochemical engineering that would uh, allow me to continue all the sciences in an integrated uh, fashion um, uh, and offered the opportunity to apply them to, to translate discoveries into practical realities. And at the time I received articles from UCL uh, written by the founders of the discipline in the UK. And I was excited about the contribution biochemical engineers make in so many different sectors, um, uh, as we've discussed from healthcare to sustainable development. And then being taught by the world leading experts in the field was, was definitely inspiring. And then since then I've been hooked. <laughs> That does sound really inspiring. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and finally, so, so INWED is all about women in engineering. Would you have, have any advice for a young woman today who wanted to enter the field of STEM? I think it's an exciting time to be studying STEM fields uh, and recent events have highlighted the critical role that engineers and scientists uh, play in our society. Uh, and yet on the other hand, we have a shortage of graduates in all these rapidly advancing STEM fields. Um, and I think women have a key role to play in STEM positions, acting as critical thinkers, addressing problems with their creativity and innovation. Um, and so um, if you study a STEM related subject, such as biochemical engineering, um, uh, all these sorts of degrees equip you with a broad skill set that actually opens up diverse career prospects. And um, so, you know, you could be playing a central role in bringing to the world the next generation of new medicines, such as groundbreaking cell and gene therapies, or you could be working to tackle um, or come up with greener processes to tackle environmental uh, pollution. Um, you, our graduates are also highly sought after in other sectors, such as finance and consultancy, because of all the, the transferable skills you gain. Uh, um, you know, you become proficient at team working, problem solving, numeracy, innovative thinking, and all those are uh, attractive um, to, to numerous um, disciplines. So I think um, uh, I would encourage uh, women uh, to really be excited about the impact they can have on society by pursuing a, a STEM field. That is brilliant advice. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Paula.